Hi friends, welcome back to WinMax. In this video, we are going to discuss on activity to find HF of two numbers. This is your maths or Vinayak from me. Let's take a problem. We have to find highest common factor of 6 and 10. As you know that in this, we have two numbers that is a 6 and another one is the 10. To find these two numbers highest common factor, we need a square paper like this. This square paper is of 10 by 15, which means 10 rows I took like this and then I took a 15 columns. Such type of a squared paper you have to take or you can take a graph sheet. After taking that graph sheet, fix it on A4 size sheet and then you have to choose the largest number. In this, largest number is 10. So I will take this 10 and I will write the 10 at first row and then I will fill the 10 square boxes in this first row. So let's fill this first row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This way I filled 10 square boxes of that first row. And next I will take the smaller number that is a 6. And I will write it in second row. And I will fill this second row's square 6 square boxes with different color. I will choose yellow color and I will fill this six square boxes like this. Now you can see there here are the four boxes which are left out. These four boxes will call that one as a remainder. So that we will count and I will write remainder as a four. In the next step what will become that the previous number which we filled at an year that is the number 6. This 6 will take and we will write it in the next row and we have to fill the 6 square boxes. Let's fill that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then I have to take this remainder 4 and I will write 4 in the next row and I will fill 4 boxes in the next row 1 2 3 4 after filling that 4 again we left with two boxes since i will write here as a remainder as a 2 in the next step you can see that we'll take this previous divisor 4 and i will write it in the next row and i will fill four boxes and this remainder 2 I will take. And in the next we have to take the remainder 2. We have to write here and we will fill. So first 2 I filled. And again you can see there 2 more boxes are left out. These 2 also I can fill. So 2, 2 times I filled. Now we got the remainder as 0. Since the number which given us a remainder as a 0 is the 2. Or we can say that here we filled this upper rectangle completely. We not got any reminders like this first step and the second step. So therefore, we we'll used to say that HCF of these 6 and 10 is 2. So this way you can complete this activity in a 4 size sheet.